Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Rudy here with your regards to this and today I'm going to explain and walk you through the different stages of the black knot fungus that affects, well like here in our area, uh, the Edmonton region in Alberta, Canada. So the black knot fungus most likely affects choke cherries, mayday trees, the occasional plum and well we don't get apricots but like primarily choke cherry and mayday trees so today i'm going to walk you through the different stages how they start out barely noticeable to kind of like what's your worst case scenario so let me show you around so here we have a few examples of uh, different sizes and stages of the black knot all those branches have black knot and they're gonna be burnt in the next few days. So that will de destroy the fungus. So here we go. We start with this little guy. You see, this one is barely noticeable. And especially if it's like, if you look at it from this side here, it's barely noticeable. But when you turn around, you can see the lump. It starts growing on there. Here. Then next up is this guy here. And then this is what most people see, like these guys here. And I believe the white discoloration here is an indication for the spores becoming active again in the spring. So then we have this fellow here, it's quite bigger, as you can see, compared to this guy here on the left. So this has grown way over. And we switch to this ginormous one. Look at this guy. So it starts way down here and like all the way up here. There. Although, like from the other side, it hasn't girdled the, the whole branch yet. It just kind of like grew along one side, but it hasn't surrounded or uh, closed off throughout the whole branch. As you can see here, there's still uh, air quotation mark, healthy material on this side, but it's like way long already, way long compared to, let's say, like this little guy. Look at this. And this just keeps going here. And then we have, so as you can see, those have been on primarily uh, smaller branches. Next up here is this little guy. Um, and this is quite a bigger branch. So we had to cut off this whole branch here because uh, uh, you want to cut it ideally uh, a minimum to six to eight inches below the knot. Um, so in this case, we went right to the main collar there and cut off this bigger branch having this knot. And then this is your worst case scenario. So this is uh, quite a substantial branch here from the main trunk off. And as you can see, let me move this away. So as you can see, this guy here is infested pretty badly. So all this, all this is fungus. All this is fungus. And it basically has uh, done some major damage already to the branch so you can see here it's kind of grown in already so this is pretty much your worst case scenario um, although the the super worst scenario would be so if targeting individual knots is basically a lost case if it's just too much or too many knots or if uh, the main trunk has been infested severely in those cases it's worthwhile considering taking down the whole tree 
a lot of people are not there quite there yet because the tree blooms really nice in the spring for t about two weeks and then it leaves out and has gorgeous uh, dark purple color um, for choke cherries that is and people like that and as long as the tree is not as badly infested it looks quite nice once the leaves are on but like in the winter time you can see all those knots showing through so for six months of the year here in Alberta we have to look at, at those black knots so anyways a lot of people are not ready to take down the whole tree which is a shame but I guess it's a disease so you want to basically do what you have to do and maybe give birth to a new tree in your yard so these are the different stages here again this guy here that's how they kind of start out looks more like a bud than anything else especially when you look from this side here it's barely noticeable but then turn around that's your black knot right there so there you have it a few prime examples of how black knot develops on your tree going to a super bad case right there before you got to take down the whole tree if you have any questions comments type them below hit the like button hey subscribe and rudy here with your reactivist you can also call us 780-218-8134 or check out our website yourreactivist.com and with that i will see you Hopefully not in your yard with your black knot tree. But if that's the case, I'm going to be there to rescue you and your yard. Over and out.